Hello to all you weather radio siren and train fans on YouTube. Today I just hit 150 subscribers, which I'm excited about. And as a celebration video, I'm going to show all my radios here. And then I'm going to show you what my severe weather station, as I call it, looks like when I'm monitoring severe weather so I can video alerts. So let's get started. So to start off here, we have this... Midland WR120, I think it's the easy model, and I got this for my birthday a few years ago. Um, I use it a lot when I'm recording weather radio alerts and stuff and my required weekly tests. Um, if I put tinfoil around the antenna, it'll get better reception, so that's a good tool for tuning into other weather radio stations. So. I like it a lot, um, works really nice, even though it's not portable, I still like to bring it outside and see what weather radio stations I can get. So I'll go to the alert test here. There. So it's pretty loud, and it will wake you up at night. That hasn't happened yet, but... Yeah, there's that weather radio. So this weather radio right here is my Midland HH54VP. It's really nice because it's nice and small and portable. It can fit in my pocket. Um, I like this one a lot because, yeah, it's portable. It's really easy to bring around to catch alerts when I'm, like, out shopping or when I'm in the car. Um, it works really nice. I really like it. an hour in the evening. Becoming light. So yeah, it's really, it's really nice. Um, got this the same time I got that for my birthday there, so I'll do the alert test. Oops. It's not as loud as this one, but it still would probably wake me up at night, which is good. It hasn't happened, no tornado warnings at night, so that's good. Then we'll move on to this weather radio. This is a LL Bean Eton or something. I don't know the exact how to pronounce it or whatever. It's it's AM FM has the weather weather forecast capability, so you can listen in on the seven channels. It's pretty good. It has a flashlight on the top, which is nice. It doesn't get that great of reception, but again, it's just good to monitor, like, I like to use it to monitor local radio stations so I can get alerts on that. And I'll turn it on here. That was a fantastic... It picks up a good amount of channels. And then you just rotate this little thing here. And then you can choose channel three, four, five. And then this is information this is channel While seven. So activation is not expected. The group or two might be needed. It's nice because it has a good volume and has the um, flashlight, which I really like. So yeah, I'll we'll move on to the next one. So this right here is my Uniden Bearcat BC seventy five XLT. I got this like probably two weeks ago for my birthday very new only have two frequencies programmed into it I really like it a lot I just used it for the siren test yesterday which was Monday July 1st 2019 have the siren activation tones and it's also good you can listen in on like the Mississippi River Lock and Dam channel so it's useful for boating when we're out to see if we can lock through so I'll turn it on here and they don't they don't talk much on it but and it says it's on channel 14 that's because I put that on there and it's on channel 2 as well so I can do that here. 
Yeah, I have. I don't have many things programmed into it here. So, yeah, and I also have the siren activation tones frequency but for Lacrosse County, but I'm not going to share that with you. That's really easy to find online. I'm not going to say anything about that frequency. You can find it yourself, and it's pretty easy to find. So, I really like this weather radio, or not weather radio, the scanner. I really like this scanner a lot. It's new, it's nice. I don't know that much about it, but I'm learning a lot, so let's move on to the next one. So this is my RCA radio. I like to use it for getting like weather alerts and stuff. I can tune to Minnesota stations really easily. It works really well. I'll turn it on here. This is just a random like talk channel. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's nice. ESPN. 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 ESPN class. Doing ESPN. Nice ESPN and loud. Um, right, right, right. So I was just so happy to. If I wrap tinfoil around the antenna, it'll get really good reception. So I do that yeah. often. So <laughs> FM and AM. So this is FM. I change it to AM. I don't know many AM stations. Could be fourteen ten. They went into the FBI, where I was on the criminal squad, That's just and then went over to the terrorism so. division, actually running the special events it's unit nice in loud, New York yeah, City. So. I was able to actually... It works really good. I like it a lot. So this is what my severe weather station looks like here. I have the computer up here on the site that will... It'll actually make this noise. I can play the noise right now. I'll just turn the volume up. And it makes this sound. And that, and it tells me like when an alert's gonna come in or something. And it's nice because I'm by the window here, I can get better reception. And the nice thing about this thing here, this I am bot thing, it will actually say if there's like it says arcs, which means across. It says arcs issues like severe thunderstorm warning or something. And then that'll actually show up before it comes through on the weather radio so that's what I like that for another YouTube user notified me of that and that's good so I have my big radio here so I can tune to other stations I have this on other stations and then I have just I'm just I just listen to the weather here and then sometimes if I want to I can get this thing out and I can turn it to the siren activation tone frequency so then if I'm wondering if the sirens will go off if there's like a tornado warning or if the winds are over 70 miles an hour which in La Crosse County Wisconsin that's what they do I can the tones will come in and then I can listen for the siren down the street here and then it will turn on so yeah that's what I like about this I have a I like my station so I need more, I want more weather radios, I should say, I really don't need them, but I want like a Recom or something and a lacrosse technology radio, FM, AM weather radio, um, it's just easier, so yeah, this is all my radios and my station, so there you go, thank you all for 150 subscribers, it's really I really like to make videos on YouTube and I'll keep going making videos because I really like I enjoy it and as long as we still get alerts and they still do the siren tests which they will so yeah thank you all for 150 subscribers it really it's really happy for me so thank you and have a good day